Hey dreamers and welcome to the little ones. This is another horror game from itch Which has a spooky doll as the thumbnail for the game. So everybody likes spooky dolls. I figured I'd give it a try. Let's start Goodbye Hello Why are you saying goodbye? I am gonna miss you. Well, that's good. I'm glad somebody will you know Oh. My dearest aunt slash aunt Eleanor. And music just cuts out. Okay. Hello? It was a cold and long October. Edward drove to the house of his deceased aunt Eleanor. She was a known local. Everyone knew Eleanor. Everyone knew her past. The short story follows Edward who was trying to move on with her life during grief, and I wasn't done. Okay. So, I guess this is my grief. Uh... I have been walking for exactly 1.8 seconds and I get jump scared by a giant baby doll. So, if that gives you a hint as to what this game is gonna be like, well. There you go, stay tuned because there's probably gonna be a lot more of that. Oh, a hand! Can't be touching me without my consent. Okay, can I read this? These nightmares. Since the last few months, I've been soaking in my own sweat. Every night, I wake up screaming, turning. It would be great if they would stop happening. Everything started with the death of Aunt Eleanor. She died a few months back, and I'm having these weird dreams since then. Maybe I should get some more rest. I'm tired from working every day. Those drunks in the bar every night, again and again. I should maybe quit as a bartender. Oh, well. I'm going to miss her. A heart attack is something you never see coming. I still think her passing is very strange. Everyone knew my aunt was as, as a calm and serene person. Her only pastime was reading and going to the theater. Also, the dolls. Those damn dolls. Eleanor sure loved her dolls and her own little world she created with them. She told them stories. She treated them like, well, yeah, like real people. Even though those dolls creeped me out most of the time, she seemed befriended with them. Almost in a way, I believe they were alive. Maybe they are alive. Hmm. Okay. This would give me a long time to read that, but as a, you know, a tip for any developer, if you're going to make a long line of text and it's not like in, you know, like a, somebody talking to you in front of you and I got to read it, please let me click this to skip the dialogue. Don't put a timer on it because some people may not read as fast as others and won't have time to finish whatever it is, you know? I have to look around. Well, it's kind of dark. I kind of... I need to be able to see to look, my friend. This kind of candle. The ring on it. If you like it, you should put a ring on it. What the hell? You listen to this? Turn that off. Okay. Anybody who listens to that deserves... To just like poop themselves every time they try to push a fart, man. Like that's that's some weird style of music. Oh my god, what? It's one thing to have dolls and treat them like people, but you also have paintings of dolls. God is trying to reach me from the other side. Is there a light anywhere that I can hold on to? Sewing machine, an old sewing machine. I wonder if anyone still uses this. The place looks abandoned. Well, this was this not your aunt's place? I mean, pretty sure. Bro, we see you. That's that's great. I see you too, but like, uh, I mean, barely actually. I'm trying to find a f a nice steamy lasagna. Lasagna? I've never said it like that in my life. I'm sorry, lasagna. Um. Yeah, I need a flashlight or something, because I can't see. Huh. That doll's gone. What a surprise. Jeez. They are useless, since they are from rooms I can't enter. Well, I should probably take them anyway. Is that not... <laughs> okay, sure, man. Uh, also, if I'm... Speaking a little weird, it's... I think I'm getting sick, so I'm sorry, guys. If I, uh... A little bit on the microphone or something like that. I'm trying not to, but uh, the laws of nature have different ideas. She even built a small fortress. 
She treated these dolls like kids of her own. Is there any mini doll in there right now? Can I crouch? No, I don't think so. Book for small children. What about big children? That's two stairs. I thought it was a shadow of like someone's legs or something. That wasn't a doll. That was a freaking person. What are you doing in my aunt's house? She's dead, don't you know? I don't want to talk to you. Bedroom door. I maybe should get some rest. Better lay down upstairs. I guess you have a preference as to what bed you lay in. Which makes sense, because, I mean, I do as well. Doll's picture. Uh, I don't like how those look. Me neither. Glad we have that in common. I haven't seen the stairs yet. Maybe it's in one of the darker rooms and I just can't see it. Hmm... Okay, another doll there. You're not gonna move, are you? Hmm, probably at some point. Oh, I don't know what I'm looking for, so. Bears. Where are this old girl doll? I can't even see it. Man. A meaningless book about meaningless stuff. I wonder if there are other books to find. Aunt Eleanor sure read a lot. That's good. Reading is a good thing. You should be you should be grateful. Too dark. Oh! I did have a flashlight. Click the scroll wheel. Well, I wish I would have known that sooner. Wow. Being able to see is quite nice. So did I miss the stairs or bedroom door? Better lay down upstairs. Can I go this way? No. Huh. Okay, then. Now that I can see the house for what it actually is, I could probably find what I need to find. So, I'm just going to walk over here and have a look. Hello, doll. I can actually see you now. Hello. Doll straight from a horror movie. Why did Ant keep these? I don't know, bro. Sometimes you just... There's no way you're not falling off of that. You got acrobatic skills or something? You do? That's pretty cool. Still looking for the upstairs. Do I just leave the apartment or what? I don't see a staircase. Is that always there? I remember. Hey, there's a note. Dear Edward, take a deep breath. It must not have been easy to lose someone you held dearly. She treated you like her own child. Eleanor did not much and not have much in luck in life. Oh my god, reading is hard. <clears throat> First, her husband, their miscarriage. I always knew she wanted children. So sad. Poor woman. My sincere condolences. Now she is with her husband. I hope she finds luck in heaven. On a side note, people from renovation are treating the abandoned house. The biggest part of this house is under construction since there is some mold that grows everywhere. At least the kitchen, hobby room, living area, and the kids' room are kept intact. That kids' room, it makes me sad to think that she really believed that those dolls were alive. Poor old lady. If you need anything else, you can always give me a call once you return home. Most things are out of the house. Have a nice time searching and discovering. But the most important thing is I hope you can give this some closure. Walk around and take it all in. This will be the last time before the house is sold. Yours truly, Diana from the Real Estate Company. What? Diana from the Real Estate Company. She just wrote me that letter like I was her son. Like that was, I felt really personal. I didn't know I could open these. Theater viewer. Viewers often only used in theaters. He loved all the drama. As most women do. That's right. Shots fired. I have to look around. Okay, well, I don't know what I'm looking for. So I guess I'll just keep poking around the house and... We'll find something. Okay. <clears throat> All I had to do was go up to this door and hit E. <laughs> Press E to enter. Remember, there is no turning back. There never is. That's awfully ominous. But I am here. Whoa. That's a child. Ascending to the upstairs bed master bedroom, Edward was thinking to himself that his lice is... His lice? Ew. It was a heavy burden. He felt the pressure of his eyelids as they grew heavy on him. The long nights at the bar and the lonely TV dinners in front of a stupid sitcom changed him. 
He found solace in being alone. But not sure in what part of it exactly. He woke up sometimes in his apartment all by himself. He asked himself if life could go even faster. After the death of his parents, he was all alone. He was raised most part of his life by his Aunt Eleanor. Love did not interest him. Lust was only a pleasure of short terms. And the only thing that kept him going was the fact that his mind was already poisoned by the misshapen images of society. No, Edward was not happy. I'm not sure if he even had some understanding of that word. After all, the only thing Edward wanted to do was die a quiet death. So he could stop dragging himself along the pains of life. His, now that his aunt was gone, he felt more lost. My dialogue is slow. Well, at least I'm going to sleep now. Death will unite us. I think this book must have been... It scares me when she wrote stuff like this. Death will... Oh my god. Maybe your aunt wasn't as uh, normal as you thought there, friend. There's lots of boxes in the way. Obviously can't go... White theater mask. A mask I used during play. Hello? Can I help you? Of course! Every horror game has some of this. I'm just gonna... They're not moving, so... That's good. Bedroom door. I don't need to return downstairs. So well, maybe you don't want. Okay, I guess I'm going down this hall. Oh, stop that! Oh, it's a theater. Duh. It died inside of. Inside of what? Inside of me? I hope not. I should get it out. There's more paths. Thanks for pointing, buddy. I appreciate that. Oh, a little mask there. Nice, nice. Very, very nice. Spooky. E to enter. Guess, guess I'm going in. Hello. Okay. Oh. Huh. Oh. Okay. Just some floating people. Huh. Okay. Can I move? Cannot. Got some nice dance moves, though. That's definitely cool. I can't move, so... I guess I'll just watch. You can't force me to watch. When Edward walked through the house, he realized that certain things are meant to stay hidden. Some thoughts die when the people who live through them, some don't. I can't read. It was clear that the spirit of Aunt Eleanor was still present inside these walls, inside the kids' toys, inside her dolls. She never left. Anger, fear, sadness, and sorrow lived there. They devoured Aunt Eleanor. It destroyed her, the miscarried child, and the lives of others, including Edward. His life, this woman had seen and lived through things you couldn't imagine. Grief had completed her. Okay. That... It had a major layers of fear vibe. Vibes. Uh, I think that's just because of the like old timey radios. And I don't know. It felt like. It felt like I was playing layers of fear. Although. I didn't really know what was happening. Because I didn't have time to read the dialogue all that well. It didn't help that I was messing up my words. A lot more than I should have been. But is you have to give me time to read your story before you move on to the next scene or i'm not gonna understand i'm not gonna enjoy myself as much as i could not that i did not enjoy myself here it was just a very slow game so i wish there was a little bit more tension maybe like the dolls actually like do something behind your back or you hear a lot more noises in the back or just to keep me on my toes guys that was the little ones thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and I'll see you guys in the next video. Time to wake up now.